Let's take a look at push-up progressions inside of the primal seven system. We'll begin with phase one push-up, floor push-up. I'll take the rings down to the floor, raising the band just beneath the knees. In phase one push-up, we're able here to focus on alignment, putting the body where it needs to be throughout the push-up exercise, but also engaging all of the muscles in the proper way. So we'll take the hands down to the floor, step back into a high plank, the top of the push-up line. And here, the band will come either underneath the chest at the pectorals or at the hips. So with this space now, everything aligns, shoulders, hips, and ankles in one straight piece of engagement. I'll lower the body down towards the floor evenly and extend and lengthen the arms, come back up to the top of the line. And our work with progression will increase frequency as we notice that the push-up is being completed with correct alignment. If we notice that we need a little bit more support in the floor push-up, the bands can be pulled up towards the anchors, so that way we have a little bit more support. Okay, from phase one, we'll move into phase two, ring push-up. And in phase two, we're focusing now on balance. We'll take the band back to the start position at the floor, and set up for our phase two ring push-up. We'll pull the rings down to the floor, until the band hugs just underneath the chest, an option here again to take the band to the chest or the hips, depending on who's in the system and what they're comfortable with. We'll step the feet back, coming into this high plank. And again, we're focusing on including the alignment pieces, keeping the shoulders, hips, and ankles engaged and in line, but now bringing in the balance aspect. Phase two, releasing the body evenly down to the floor, balancing your grip evenly into the rings, and finding an even balanced extension back up to the top of the push-up line. As we progress through this push-up, pace is increased and depth, but still keeping alignment really engaged. From phase two push-up, we'll move to phase three, partial support push-up. And in phase three, we're focusing on strength capacity. We'll move the system into the start position, bring the band to the floor. Right. For phase three push-up, I'm bringing the rings down towards the floor, lifting the band upwards. And I'll bring the rings down towards the floor until the band is just a little bit above the rings and the rings are at an even place. I'll bring the system to a locked position, both of the straps together through the open end of the nine hook behind the release lever. Pull the straps down nice and secure, both sides into the locked position, big loop, into the nine hook, locked in place. Protective covers are gonna reach up over the release levers to be able to function with the straps a little bit more readily. Move my arms through the straps and bring the hands to the rings. Step back into high plank and already I'm engaging all of the alignment pieces that we focused on in phase one and the balancing aspects from phase two, bringing it into the strength capacity as I lower myself into the band and lift out of the band, straightening the arm. Body moving as one cohesive unit, <laughs> engaging the deep core muscles, and keeping the form and shape of push-up through each movement. Phase one, phase two, and phase three push-up with progressions. 